Alright guys, so we are going to be showcasing the brand new AGL LR Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan Vegeta at both 55% as well as 79% so that you guys can see how well this unit performs at different levels of hidden potential investment. Alright, so with that said, let's take a quick look at our team here. We got the double AGL LR Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta's as our leads and then uh, basically a bunch of other LR Goku and Vegeta's. We got the Fizz one, the STR one, the Tech one, and also the Tech LR Bird Coup from part one of the celebration. And uh, finally the AGL PyCon for some support. So uh, on this first rotation, we have the 55% Goku and Vegeta, which is mine, linked up with the Fizz Goku and Vegeta, which is one of their best linking partners in the game right now. And they're starting with 135k defense, which obviously seems low. It is quite low, honestly. But keep in mind that they get 40% damage reduction for the first three turns. They also get an additional attack and defense plus 50% when they super. And on top of that, they do get defense on their 12 and 18 key supers. So overall, this is actually a pretty good defensive unit, even though they're starting defense is uh you know pretty low right so let's give these guys some orbs here that's going to be almost a full 24k super and let's see what they can do all right so first attack once again 55 percent goku and vegeta getting up to 6.4 mil attack not bad not bad can we get a crit no crit there but no additional super either. Okay, so we didn't get too lucky there. Um, there was a high chance for an additional super, but it is what it is. Not a big deal. Still a pretty good super for the first attack. Now we're moving on to the 79% Goku and Vegeta linked up with the LR Bird Coup, which is also one of their best linking partners. And that's going to be a full 24 key super for them. They're starting with 161,000 defense, so better obviously than the 55% Goku and Vegeta, but still kind of low by today's standards. But once again, you know, 40% damage reduction is a lot, and uh, also the 50% uh, on the passive, the additional defense on the supers. So as a slot 2 unit, they actually get quite tanky. Um, so on like a normal run, if you're running like one of the harder events, uh, Red Zone for example, or Extreme Super Battle Road, I would put these guys in the second slot because the Bird Coup, if you have him, is such a good slot 1 unit. So if you're running them as a rotation, and this is a very, very good rotation, then I would put Bird Coup in slot 1 for sure, and then the Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta in slot 2. And in slot 2, they do get a ton of defense after they super, so they should be more than good enough to tank uh, most attacks unless we're talking about like I don't know the cell max event I haven't tried the cell max event with these guys so I don't know what they would take for a super attack there I would assume they'll probably still take a good amount of damage but they'll hold up better than most units right so uh, here we have the bird coup or sorry the um, the Goku and Vegeta we also got the PyCon, so I'm going to try my best to give PyCon three type orbs so that we can get the support. So, you know what? I'm not even going to give the Fizz Goku MG to a super so that we can give this support to the PyCon. And actually, we get the extra key, so we still get a super from the Fizz Goku MG anyways. Okay, so we're tanking the normals quite well. Double digits, triple digits. And now... We got 7.3 mil from the 55% Goku and Vegeta. Can we get the additional? Yep, there we go. Beautiful. So, was that 4.5 mil for the additional super? 7.3 mil for the first super. That's some really, really good damage, guys. And another additional, unfortunately, not a super attack. That would have been crazy. But, uh, yeah, if we had taken like a super after those two super attacks then we would have tanked that really, really well. Because, like I said, they get a bunch of defense after they attack. So, um, that was a very good turn. Let's see if we can get a similar turn here from 
the 79% Goku and Vegeta here. Uh, it actually looks like we can't get an 18 key super for them, so I'm gonna put the bird coup in the first slot, and then, yeah, we should be able to get 18 key there, perfect. And uh, after this turn, after this rotation, I believe we have satisfied the conditions for the morale boost or the costume change, so I think we will see the animation for uh, Goku and Vegeta to transform, kind of, right, transform, and uh, get a boost on their passive as well. But I'm not 100% sure. So the condition is you have to launch three supers, which we obviously did, and we have to take seven hits. And I haven't been counting the hits, so I'm not too sure if we, you know, took enough hits. But I think we have. I think we have. Now, uh, one thing that kind of sucks is uh, we took a super there, right, against Bird Coup. And I would have wanted to get that super against the Goku and Vegeta since I know they would have taken double digits as well. So that's unfortunate, but it's okay. Uh, oh. <sighs> okay, so clearly we haven't satisfied the conditions for the morale boost, and uh, I think we are down to 20% damage reduction now since it's been beyond three turns, right? So, um, we might actually take some damage here, guys. If the god Vegeta decides to super us before we get a chance to attack, then there's a decent chance that it's going to hit us pretty hard. But it's a risk I'm willing to take. There we go. Okay. Let's see it. Let's see it. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> that is a lot of damage. So, um, as I just said, right, we are only at 20% damage reduction now. And we also haven't had a chance to build that defense with the super attacks. So, it's not a surprise. That's why I say... I think that they are definitely a slot 2 unit, both the uh, Fizz LR Metal Cooler as well as the Goku and Vegeta are better suited in slot 2, and uh, you know, they are very good slot 2 defenders, but you gotta be very careful with them on harder events in slot 1, especially after the third turn where they lose that additional 20% damage reduction. Now, after we get the morale boost, the damage reduction goes up to 30%, which is a lot safer. But even then, I would still put them in the second slot, if you can. Of course, for the showcase, for the purposes of just like testing their defense here, it makes sense to see what they can take, um, you know, with a super in slot one. But uh, it's not something I would recommend for sure if you're actually seriously trying to beat a stage like a uh, red zone or something like that. So yeah, that was a lot of damage, but it wasn't bad enough where we died. So. I still think it's fine. I still think it's fine. Their defense overall, I think, is like good. Maybe even great. I think they do have some great defense. But it's not like amazing, right? It's not like, you know, it's not like they're one of the best defenders in the game. But that's not something we expect them to be. So for how much damage they're doing compared to, you know, how well they tank, I think it's, you know, quite solid. And uh, as a whole, as a whole, I've been very impressed by this unit. Do I think that they're as good as Bird Coup? I mean, offensively they are. Offensively they are for sure. But defensively, I think the Bird Coup does have them beat, especially with the revival skill, which these guys don't have, right? But what they do have is that costume change, that morale boost. So we just got that. We're up to 30% damage reduction now. And let's see what they can do as far as damage goes. Okay, so that's gonna be a 18 key super. Uh, I think these guys will be okay defensively. I'm a little bit concerned, but I'm not gonna worry about it too much right now. There we go. Okay, so we tanked that normal quite well, double digits. Offensively, the damage is uh, about the same. I think we do have a higher chance for a crit and also a higher chance for an additional super. There we go. And uh, defensively, obviously, they should be a bit better since we have the additional 10% damage reduction now. And um, yeah, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. So yeah, like I said, as a whole, I think this unit is very, very solid. Um, 
offensively and defensively they hold up quite well in almost any event in the game especially in slot 2. Uh, obviously their leader skill is amazing as well. I'm super excited to uh, build some more joint forces teams with like the Goku and Piccolos, the Kale and Kaliflas, and all that good stuff you know. So uh, yeah let's finish out this showcase. We actually have the uh, revival skill ready but I don't think we're actually gonna die at any point in the showcase. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so here we go. Once again, this is the 79% Goku and Vegeta, 161,000 defense. Uh, I think the next time they come back around, they should also get the morale boost. But it does take a while sometimes. It does take a while sometimes. So if I were to like nitpick about any aspect of this unit, and there really isn't much to complain about, but the one thing I will say is their costume change or uh, morale boost, as they call it, um, requires some patience, right? So in shorter events like Super Battle Road or even Extreme Super Battle Road, uh, you might just never see that costume change, which is unfortunate because then you won't be able to use them at their full potential, their full power, right? But even without the morale boost or costume change, they still do really well, as you guys see, right? And in shorter events, they're actually gonna be more tanky, at least for the first two appearances, for the first three turns, with the 40% damage reduction. So, essentially, they're good either way. They're good in shorter events, they're good, -er, or they're good, -er, they're good in long events as well, with the uh, costume change. So, as I said, guys, just a great unit overall. Um, we do have the active skill here, which. I think I'm a use. I think I'm a use. I think it will finish off the Vegeta. So, there we go. And this is obviously like the ending of the uh, Metal Cooler movie where they finish off the core cooler. If you guys haven't seen it, then spoilers. My apologies. But, I mean, what did you expect, right? So. There is the active skill. We got a crit. Didn't quite kill him, but that's fine. That's totally fine. Okay, so there we go. 18k super. Uh, I'm only give one orb to the Fizz Goku and Vegeta, so we get the support from Pycon. And I think we're still gonna get over 7 mil attack here. We are getting supered. We're taking 140k. That's actually very good. That's actually some very good tanking, considering this Vegeta, as you guys might know, uh, he does a lot of damage. He does a lot of damage. So, with no items, taking 140k, I'll take that any day, man. I'll take that any day. And here is the awesome change morale boost for the other Goku and Vegeta. Um, Damage-wise, for uh, the first Goku and Vegeta that we just saw, uh, not bad. 6.8 mil. 4 point, I think 2 mil crit, I'll take that, probably would have gotten an additional super as well, but didn't get, get a chance to see that. And uh, here we go, 79% Goku and Vegeta now has their morale boost, and let's see the defense here, 161k, so no change, I keep forgetting that they actually don't get a defense boost um, when they get the morale boost, right, so that's my bad, but that is a crap load of attacks in the first slot. That is so many attacks, so let's see if we can maybe, there we go, get an 18k super, and uh, this will really put their tanking to the test, because as hard as the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta hits, the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta hits even harder. Now, what's going to be really upsetting is if, with all those attacks in the first slot, he decides to not super us and actually supers the STR Goku and Vegeta in the last slot. Um, not because we're gonna die, because we do have the revival skill available, it's just I wanna see how well these guys can tank. Oh, here we go, perfect. Okay, SSB Vegeta supering our Goku and Vegeta. We're gonna take 204k. Believe it or not, I'm actually super impressed by that. <laughs> I'm actually super, super impressed. <laughs> that they only took 600, sorry, they only took 200k from a super, um, because this guy has hit some other units for like 5, 600k easy, you know, so 
yeah, after you see numbers like that, and you only take 200k without any items active, that's very, very good. That is very, very good. And now we get the fusion for the Fizz Gogeta, right? And we're back to full HP. So, yeah, we're all good, man. We're all good. Now, I think we actually lose some links, though, for the Goku and Vegeta. Yeah, only four links, unfortunately, so I'm going to switch it up here. That's five links and a 24 key super. I don't think we have to use any items on this run. I think this will be pretty easily a no item run. We got the Dokkan attack as well. Let's go. All right, let's get this Dokkan attack. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six. So as you guys have seen in this showcase, obviously the 79% Goku and Vegeta is better. I mean, that's pretty obvious, right? More dupes, more investment, more damage, better defense. But the 55% no dupe Goku and Vegeta, my Goku and Vegeta, they're holding up great, man. They're doing very, very well here. That was a nice token attack. There's the additional super as well. Can we get a third super before we go? Give me a third super. Come on. Damn it. <laughs> Yo, there was a pause. I thought for sure we we're going to get that third super. It didn't happen, but that's okay. That's okay. On the bright side, there's a good chance we'll get to use the other 79% uh, Goku and Vegeta's active skill now. So that would be an even better way to finish things off, if you think about it. So, it worked out. This is exactly what I wanted, guys. This is exactly the way I planned it. So, let's go. Let's go. Okay, so we got the 79% Goku and Vegeta active skill. Let's get it. Let's go. It always makes me laugh when I see this animation though, because Goku's like so slow. And I think it was like that in the movie anyways, so it's not like they've taken any liberties or anything like that. It's just it's just funny to see it in like super slow motion. Okay, so this will be the final attack, guys. I just do not see SSB Vegeta surviving this. So final attack, 7.3 mil, and that is gonna be the showcase for the new AGL LR Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan Vegeta, definitely a very, very powerful unit. Um, are they in the top 10? Easily, in my opinion. A top 10 unit, top five, maybe. Best unit in the game? Not quite, not quite. I don't think they are gonna hold that title, but they are definitely one of the best units in the game right now. Um, so if you guys are still summoning for them, then best of luck. If this video convinced you to summon for them, then, even more so, the best of luck, because I would feel really bad if you guys saw this video and you're like, yo, I gotta have this unit, and then you summon, and you get shafted. Nothing would make me feel worse than that, you know? So, good luck, guys. Pull everything you want, and, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.